Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do trigonometric ratios. Uh, trig ratios are used in right triangles um, to set up the ratio between uh, two different sides of a triangle. And later on uh, you'll use the ratio to help you determine uh, angles within a triangle or um, you can use them to find an unknown side. Alright, to get started with your trig ratios, um, we're going to need to know the symbol theta, which is basically a circle with a line through it. Uh, theta will be placed on your triangle somewhere, uh, one of the non-right uh, angles, one of the uh, angles that is not 90 degrees. Uh, it could go in either one. Uh, remember, in the triangle, you only get uh, two extra choices. I'm just going to put it here in the bottom right corner. There's our theta, and wherever you see that symbol, all of our trig ratios are going to be based on that angle down there. I'm going to give us our uh, sides for this triangle. Uh, very simple, three, four, and five for the uh, triangle. Three, four, five, uh, right triangle. Now I'm going to define those ratios for you. Um, the three basic ones uh, are sine, S-I-N, cosine, uh, abbreviated COS, and tangent, uh, T-A-N. Now, to remember uh, the ratios, I'm going to give you the memory device for first, and then I'm going to explain it. Um, so sine is so, S-O-H. Cosine is ka, C-A-H. And tangent is toa, T-O-A. It kind of rhymes, and it makes it really easy to remember. So, ka, toa. So, ka, toa. If you memorize that, you'll be uh, almost all the way there to remembering these trig ratios. And sometimes that's the hardest part. So remember, soa, so ka toa. Uh, now explain those uh, extra letters I gave you in the memory device. Um, we have an O, which stands for opposite. Uh, we have a H, which stands for hypotenuse and an A which stands for adjacent um, and these uh, terms are all relative uh, based on the theta angle opposite is opposite of the theta so if you draw a line directly out from the theta to the other side we have opposite the hypotenuse is always, always, always the longest side of the triangle. It's directly opposite of the 90 degree angle in your triangle. The hypotenuse is always the biggest number. Adjacent is the side that's right next to the theta, uh, but not the hypotenuse. So see how you have two choices for the theta? Well, this one's hypotenuse, so the other one is adjacent. Now we'll put it all together and uh, get one of these ratios. We'll start with sine. And we can write it just as sine of theta is equal to. And this is where the memory device comes in. Uh, for sine, it's so. Uh, remember those letters O and H stand for opposite and hypotenuse. The first letter in our memory device is the number that's on top of a fraction. The second letter stands for the number that will be on the bottom of the fraction. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So look at our theta. Opposite is 4. Hypotenuse is 5, sine of theta is 4 over 5. And we'll follow the same uh, pattern for uh, cosine, cosine of theta. Remember our memory device, uh, cosine is ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent means right next to, so we have a 3. Hypotenuse is 5, cosine is 3 over 5. And finally, tangent, if I can squeeze it in here at the bottom of the screen. Tangent of theta is toa, opposite over adjacent. So opposite of theta is 4, adjacent is 3, tangent is 4 over 3. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you with trig ratios is that there are six total uh, trig ratios. We already covered the three basic ones, sine, cosine, and tangent. Uh, there are three other ones too, which are based on the three basic ones. 
uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Um, I wrote them in this order and this arrangement uh, to help you uh, see how they uh, relate to one another. Uh, cosecant is the opposite of sine, secant is the opposite of cosine, and cotangent is opposite of tangent. Uh, the easiest way I can remember this one is see how sine and cosine both start with an SC? Well, over here, their opposites are flipped. I think it's an easy way to remember it. Um, so the opposite of sine starts with a C, and then if you just remember that, um, the one we have over here that starts with a C is cosecant. Um, the opposite of uh, cosine will start with an S because it's opposite secant, and cotangent has tangent uh, written in it. The way you figure these out is you just look at the one it corresponds to, and you just flip it. It's that easy. So cosecant is uh, the opposite of sine, and so that's 5 over 4. Secant is the opposite of cosine, so that's 5 over 3. And cotangent is the opposite of tangent, that's 3 over 4. Well, thanks for watching uh, this math video today. I hope you learned something. If you need a little bit extra help, maybe help with a specific problem that you didn't quite understand, you couldn't figure out uh, even with this uh, video, head on over to my website, yourtutoronline.com. Click the tutoring link up at the top and uh, talk to me about how to set up some private one-on-one -on -one tutoring with me. I'm just here to help, and uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.